YouTube, what's good? Welcome to another episode of New York Prison Talks. If you're new to my channel, I ask that you please like and subscribe. I like to send messages to family members who's incarcerated that could hear some messages or people that's about to FaceTime that might be going in that could take my advice. Um, Today, I wanted to talk about prison food. You know, being locked up. I hear a lot of people out here think prison food is kind of good. And they don't know it's a lot of downsides to the type of food that we eat. Now, you got two types of food that you eat. You eat you eat in the prison food that that they serve to us, that they serve the dudes every day, the three meals a day. Child, we call it child. And then you got commissary food. That's what you buy. You, your family members send you money, or if you got money in your account, you could buy the food off a commissary at the store. The commissary food don't last long. You can buy seventy five dollars of food, and it's way cheaper inside the food from outside out here. It's less expensive. Seventy five dollars could fill up a whole refrigerator out here in the streets. But is the type of food that you eat in every single day, the type of food that you eat in probably for years, or could be for the rest of your life, if that's the route people want to take. Just know that the prison food that they serve the people that we call child is disgusting. There's nothing good about it. Everything that they have, it comes in a bag. Everything that they serve is soy in it. It has a lot of soy. Soy contains a lot of soy meat in it. They serve a lot of a lot of pastas, a lot of beef chow mein. Chicken chow mein, something called yakisobi, you know the beef patties. All of that stuff has soy in it. It's not. It's not good. It's really nasty. You even look at the food. I remember my first prison meal when I went to Downstate Correctional Facility. My very first meal ever. I had liver and potatoes. They took that off the menu after a few months after me being in prison because nobody liked it that. Nobody eating that. Nobody was eating that food. When they see a lot of people don't go for that type of meal, and they see it's less populated for that meal, they discontinue it after a long after a while. They they when they start start noticing that nobody goes for those meal. That meal comes discontinued. That's the only good thing about that that type of food because that liver was disgusting. I could never eat that ever again. The type of food that they serve is like. If if you thinking that you about to go and eat some type of hospital food, it, it's worse than hospital food. It contains nothing but soy. It it comes in a bag that you heat up, or they put in a big pot, and they heat it up. Nothing is cooked. Only thing that gets cooked is probably the cakes and the brownies, and that's about it. Maybe the chicken. They have baked chicken every other Sunday, and people go down to eat that. That's like the only real kind of food is the baked chicken, steak chicken we call it, Jamaican beef patties. It has soy in it, but that's a that's one of the better foods for prison and prison. A lot of people go to those type of meals. A lot of people like the steak chicken, the beef patties, the hot dogs. Now the hot dog the thing about the hot dogs is, it depends on what type of jail you in, cause certain jails depending on who works in the mess hall. Some dudes like to really cook the food. They like to really really get busy with the food if the CEOs allow them to. They might put extra seasoning in something. Because I done been in facilities like Franklin or facilities like Clinton or Comstock where they serve you hot dogs. And the hot dogs is looking pinkish slash gray and green. And I'm not joking about that. They, they'll serve it right to you just like that. It looks kind of pink, gray, and green. Like, you don't know what type of color. It's like a mixture of all three of them colors. Those are the hot dogs. So just imagine the type of other food. We don't know what we eat, what we was eating in there. Dudes don't know what they eating in there. It's like, you think that you about to eat heaven? Eat like you in heaven? That's that, that's It's quiet for that. It's quiet. The only type of good food that you eat is the commissary food. But after a while, eating commissary food, it gets whack. It gets whack because you're buying the same thing every two weeks if you have the money for it. 
If you don't have the money for it, you better hope and pray that you have some type of decent state money that gets you to survive to if you're getting money for the next time you get commissary or something. But if you somebody that don't get money at all, you don't get no packages, and you have to eat the state food, th that it, I feel sorry for those type of people because it, it like the food is disgusting. But one thing I could say, I don't know what's in the food besides the soy. But one thing about that food, if you somebody that likes to work out, if you somebody that likes to work out and don't have no money to buy commissary and stuff, and you work out, and you in population, not the box, and you in population where you could probably get double trades from other people and stuff, that could get your weight up still. Any type of food can get your weight up, believe it or not. It depends on how you eat, sleep, and rest. That could get your muscles up and could get your weight up. I remember there was many times where I didn't have a lot of food. I didn't have money or I, I might have got the money too late for the store or stuff like that. And the things was I was like just trying not to eat the, the mess hall food, but I had no choice but to eat the mess hall food. It was many times like that. And if you somebody that's struggling off of that, you have no choice. And just I'm only saying in different ways so people can understand that that mess hall food is trash. It has nothing but soy. People be claiming they could gain like titties off of it, hormones off of this eating a whole bunch of soy. I don't know how true that is, but it, it seems like people gain fat deposits in their chest and stuff from eating a whole bunch of this soy. Um, what I could say about the prison food is. It's not cooked in every jail completely. Like I said, some jails, the hot dogs becoming grayish and pink in different colors. Some jails, it'd be fully cooked like it was fried. It depends on what type of facility you go to. And it's like, you don't know what you might be eating in the food. Dudes could probably spit in the food or seals probably could do something to the food. But I worked in the mess hall, so I know how it goes when it comes to the prison food. I worked in the mess hall for a few months, so I know exactly the ins and outs. I worked in Comstock mess hall, and it's like, if, if you somebody that likes to work out and trying to survive, you ain't only eating three meals a day unless you probably getting somebody that could make you some meals or somebody that's giving you trays if they go with you to the mess hall. But if you somebody that getting commissary food and you can get food in the packages from the outside, that's another thing. You also could get food from the outside packages but it's limited to 35 pounds and all of that could go in a matter of a few days if you somebody that just don't go to the mess hall and you eating just your commissary food and your packaged food all day long you got to learn how to conserve your food and it's like it's hard that's a big struggle in jail a lot of people be starving because a lot of people like to smoke cigarettes and a lot of people like to, to drink coffee that's one of the two biggest things everybody buys off a of commissary cigarettes and coffee you got some dudes that like to sell coffee some dudes that like to sell cigarettes ain't nothing wrong with that it's a hustle it's not illegal or anything just a lot of dudes do that it's a lot of dudes that have habits with drug habits and they spend all their money that they receive on drugs and by the time they go to the store that money that they had it's either going to the next man or they already used it, and now they don't have nothing to go to the store with. And now when you got somebody like that, just just having no money for the store, it probably they might have their state money. All you really going to be doing is just buying a whole bunch of survival food. A lot of survival food is soups. That's the main thing is soups. Everybody buys soups in prison. That's the main thing. I blew up and I grew a lot of muscle just eating a lot of soup and tuna fish, Jack Mac, mackerel. Um, salmon, sardines. I ate a lot of seafood. That was the key of me blowing up in jail. I ate a lot of seafood, a lot of just stuff that I know that was either starchy, that was going to add weight on me, or protein if I had it. Because if you're not getting that, that, that good source of protein, you might not have no choice but to just eat the mess hall food. And since I was young and I was learning about how to grow and stuff, I was just, just trying to eat as much as I could because... When you somebody that likes to work out heavily and you working out like two to three times a day, you have to eat. You have to eat. Now, I've seen dudes that 
Never had commissary food. Don't get packages. Eat nothing but the mess hall. And had they wait up looking brolic and all that. You could do that. It's all about how you eat. Now the food, I wish I had pictures of the food because it's disgusting. And um, I don't advise nobody going to prison because that's the type of stuff you're going to be eating. Especially if you got life. Especially if you're in a box. If you're in a box, you ain't got no commissary food. If you're in a box, you ain't getting no package foods. If you're in a box, you getting meals that's probably not as much as if you was in population. It might be less. It might be less. Sometimes they might stuff stuff the whole tray. Sometimes it might be a little bit. And depending on what kind of meal it might be, it either might be a little bit or, or, or less. You got some stuff called beef gula. It's nasty. A lot of that, a lot of the prison food is a lot of like saucy stuff, slop. A lot of like spaghetti. They just add some brown sauce onto it and make names up for it. It's nothing good about the prison food at all. It's nothing good. They serve juice. The juice, let me tell you about the juice. They had juice in prison that where now they make it colorless. Colorless. They had juice where it was pink and red, where if you threw the juice onto the floor and try to wipe it up, it's going to stain the floor. And I'm not lying about that. It's a lot of ju- it was a lot of times I done seen dudes spill juice on the mess hall floor or spill juice in the dorm or in the cell, and they try to wipe it up and it leaves a stain exactly exactly how much was on the floor. And it's, it's hard to get the stain out. If you could, like they, I don't know what's in the juice. If you somebody that likes to drink juice, I don't advise you to drink the juice because if that was doing that to the floor, just imagine what it could do to your insides. Now they made the juice clear. So when dudes wipe it up, they can't see. But just always remember what I said about that. They would stain. It stains the floor. It could stain you. And I'm not talking about... I know some juices out here kind of do the same. But that type of juice in prison, it was just not leaving the floor at all. And a lot of dudes be drinking that. They serve hot chocolate. The hot chocolate is nasty. It's watery. Depending on what facility you could be in. Could be watery. You know, they a lot of people switch over to the kosher mills because kosher is like for the Jewish people and religious people, the Rastafarians, and a lot of people will be switching over to that. But it's like if you switch over to that, you not you can't eat the regular foods for population when you go to the mess hall. Cause some jails they be on it about your kosher. You can only eat kosher food. Cause they know when there's a good mess hall food, like the steak chicken or maybe beef patties or pizza. They make sure them dudes that have the kosher meals is going to get the kosher meal every time. And the kosher meals is good because everything is fresh and it might be oatmeal and peanut butter and je- real peanut butter and jelly that comes in packs and stuff and real cups of soup. And it's stuff that you open up. It's kosher. Everything is fresh and new. And um, that's the only good thing about that. A lot of people switch over to kosher when they're in a the box too because box food, that's all you eat is the box food. And it's disgusting. So a lot of people try to switch over and turn different religion. A lot of people switch. And for, and for you to turn to get the kosher meals, you have to switch over your religion to either Rastafarian or, or, or the Jew. You have to be Jewish. And a lot of people was doing that. I mean, a lot of people like to do that in the box. It's ways to get through it and it's ways not to. But it's like if you Muslim, it's hard for you to eat. In prison, when it comes to Ramadan, because they might not have, they might not. It depends on what jail. Because I've been in jails where a lot of Muslim Ramadans, they they had good foods and good meals. And then I've been in jails where it was Ramadan season, and they wasn't even really feeding them as much as they should, because you only eating at night when it's dark, and it's like it's mess hall food. But for the Ramadan. It's cooked mess hall food. The people who's making the Ramadan food, it's all mess hall material. It's all the same type of stuff that they serve, but it's actually cooked. And, it, and it's cooked by the Muslims, too. The Muslim, they have Muslim chef. They have Muslim, the Muslim parties, the, the feasts and all that. And it's actually good. Um, But if you're somebody that doesn't get any money 
If you somebody that's just going to mess all all day, just think about what I said because it get real eating that food. That food is just disgusting. It make you throw up. You probably eat something. It might be some, something hard in the food or you don't know what you might be finding in the food. Sometimes you be finding stuff and it might find hair in the food. Some type of like bones that you never even seen before. You don't know what it could be. And it's like just eating and smelling the food. It's just disgusting. Only good thing probably about the food and, and the mess hall food is probably the fruits and milk. If you're somebody that likes to work out and you don't got a lot of food, try to load up on a lot of milks. Try to load up, load up on a lot of soup. And, and, and if you could try to get a lot of seafood, it depends. If you could try to get a lot of seafood and tuna. If you're somebody that likes to smoke and have a, a smoking problem with cigarettes... Cut that out because when you get to jail, that's going to be a big habit. You're always going to be asking people for cigarettes and you're always going to be asking people for coffee. That's enough because a lot of people smoke cigarettes and a lot of people drink coffee. The coffee is not all that either. It's nasty. They have espresso, but it's some type of cheap espresso. It's not really that good. And it's like you can get, you can get coffee in a package. And the stuff in the packages is like everything is limited. You got to make sure when your people get sent you packaged foods, it got to be wrapped a certain way or it has to come in through a certain way. Foods might have to be, it might have to say, keep refrigerated. It can't be frozen. It got to be sealed up a certain way. It can't be open. The best thing type of foods to get if you send somebody packaged food, just give them, if you don't know, just give them a whole bunch of canned food that weighs less than 16 ounces. Anything over that, is, it might not be able to get it in, depending on what facility you in but other than that if you get in the commissary food just load up on a lot of soups load up on a lot of crackers and or chips or something if you're one of those type of people that don't work out eat a lot of get a lot of snacks the snacks is cheap but the main things a lot of people eat is the ramadan noodle soups that's the only thing that that kept my weight up my whole bed that's the only way i was surviving you just hope i buy like 20 30 soups i probably eat two soups a day Two to four soups a day, depending on how much I'm working out, or it depends if I have food or stuff like that. If if you somebody that might be struggling, try to get a hustle on because the if if you're not getting the money and you're not getting packages and you're spending all your state money on other stuff, try to get a little hustle. You got dudes in jail that like to clean dishes. You got dudes in jail, believe it or not, that clean other people's clothes. They like to wash other people's clothes. You got dudes that might get a little hustle and, and cut hair. There's some some fire ass barbers in there. You got dudes that's in prison that like to gamble off of chess. If they got dice in the building, people play dice. It's all type of hustles in there. A lot of people like to sell cigarettes. People like to sell coffee. You know, a lot of people sell drugs. People sell phone calls, believe it or not. You got some people that like to give three ways and sell sell phone calls. I mean, it, it, it's hard to survive in prison if you don't have any support. So if you somebody that like to shoot people and you know you're going to jail and you like to commit crimes and you know you're going to jail. Or if you probably don't even think you're going to jail, but if you like if you somebody that, that likes to do that type of activity. Just know that you're going to end up in prison. Oh, it doesn't have to be prison. It could be the county jail. And the county jail is even worse because the county jail, the commissary for the county jail is, is way more expensive than the prison food, the prison commissary. It's two different type of commissaries. The prison commissary is cheap. It's very cheap. The soups might be 13 cents. Compared to the county jails where the soups might be 75 cents to a dollar. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. So if you buying 10 soups in the county jail, that's 750. Compared to you buying 10 soups in prison, it's gonna be like a dollar thirty. Dollar thirty, because it's 13 cents. And it's like just just keep that in mind from people that that is about to get locked up. Because if 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 you have a problem. With smoking and, and, and drinking, coffee is going. All that money is going to go to that. I'm telling you, I already know how it goes. Cause a lot of dudes just smoke all day long. Dudes is stressing. Dudes is just contemplating. Dudes don't have nothing else to do. 
And that's their biggest stress reliever. They smoke cigarettes every half an hour and drink coffee all day long like it's water. And if that's one of your habits, you're never going to really be having good food. You're probably going to be skinny and scrawny and just always asking people for stuff. Always going to the store man. The store man is somebody that, that sells probably all type of everything. He sells cakes, food, whatever. Coffee, cigarettes. He's the store man. And when you go to the store man, you asking him for one, he's going to charge you back and make sure he gets something in exchange. He's gonna get, you're going to have to owe him two. So if you do, you owe him one, you're going to have to owe him two. It's called one for two. You take two from him, you're going to have to owe him three or two for three and so on and so on. It depends on how it goes and how they want to help you out and stuff too. Some store mans be looking out for people. Some store mans don't. You have to buy stamps on commissary. But nowadays, I know they got the um, the new like iPads or whatever where you could talk to your families on it now. I just seen somebody talking to, talking to somebody on a tablet the other day. And I was surprised. I was like, wow, I wasn't home for that. I mean, I wasn't locked up for that. And it's, it's kind of cool, but um, you still have to buy stamps that way. And it's like, if you can't buy stamps because you're smoking all the cigarettes and, and you're drinking all the coffee and, or you're owing people because you got a drug habit, you ain't never going to be able to communicate with your family the way you want to. So... If you somebody that 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 thinking you are gonna be out here gang banging or, or causing trouble, just know when you, when you go when you go to prison, you are not gonna be eating good at all. Especially if every jail you go to, you might have not have your property for a few days. You are gonna have to eat mess or food. Every jail you go to, at one point in time, you are gonna have to eat mess or food. Everybody do. Everybody do. Prison food is not the wave. So I just give everybody that advice. Just remember what I said. You're not going to eat good because the food is terrible. It's disgusting. Some foods can make you throw up. Some foods make you go to make you go, on, go drop a sick or slip and see medical because of the foods that that's just, just, just disgusting. It might be messing their stomach up. I think everybody that's coming to my YouTube channel, if you like my channel, please like and subscribe. Thank you once again.